Hello, my friends. Welcome to The Jazz Real Book. I am your host, Jay Sweet. Today's standard is All of Me, a widely popular jazz standard co-written by Gerald Marks and Seymour Simmons in 1931. Paul Whiteman and his orchestra, featuring Mildred Bailey, recorded the song later that year, where it reached the top of the U.S. pop charts. Others who have had hits with the song include legends like Louis Armstrong, Ben Salvin, Billie Holiday, Frank Sinatra, Johnny Ray, and Willie Nelson. They all had hits with a version of All of Me. All of Me also found its way into the 1932 film Careless Lady. The song has received the Towering Song Award from the Songwriters Hall of Fame in the year 2000. Let's get into it. So next up is our For the Jazz Nerd section where we take a deeper look into the song. So if you have your chart there, the Jazz Real Book, it'd be a good idea to uh, follow along. If not, just listen. So All of Me is a 40-bar tune that is separated into two 20-bar sections described as either A-B song form or because both 20-measure sections share the same materials for the first eight bars, it could be considered A and A prime. Much of the consistency of the melody comes from the rhythmic quarter note triplet figure that appears several times throughout. The melodic rhythm overall is not particularly note-heavy and the phrases are clear. As for the harmony, the chords All of Me is not all that active. Most chords are played for either two full bars or one bar each. The harmony is centered around the key of C major, although the key is masked somewhat by the various seventh chords that move within the circle of fifths root motion. The turnaround at the end of the piece the final two bars of C6, E flat, diminished 7, D7, and G7 add a degree of uniqueness. But what you need to know is overall the song is well written and is clearly stated. As for a standards rating, this one's very popular. I would give it a 9 out of 10. As for a difficulty rating, probably a 4 out of 10. Let's learn about the recording. One of the most beloved versions of All of Me comes from Billie Holiday. Billie Holiday, affectionately known as Lady Day, carved an enduring legacy as a jazz singer and was distinguished for her unique vocal stylings and interpretations of jazz standards. Born Eleonora Fagan in 1915 in Philadelphia, her early life was marked by adversity. She was raised mostly in Baltimore amid poverty and subjected to sexual abuse. But she discovered solace in the recordings of blues singers like Ma Rainey and Bessie Smith, as well as the jazz stylings of Louis Armstrong. Holiday possessed a limited vocal range of only about an octave, and she compensated not by technique, she didn't impress with her technique, but with her style of phrasing and interpretation. Holiday's journey into the world of performance began in the late 1920s when she convinced New York night club owners to allow her to sing for tips. By 1932, producer John Hammond recognized her talents, which led to a collaboration with Benny Goodman who was very famous, and a few recordings in 1935. Holiday signed with Brunswick Records, where she collaborated with pianist Teddy Wilson and tenor saxophonist Lester Young, creating some of her best recordings. Despite facing challenges, including a brief stint with Count Basie's orchestra, which did not go well, and the racial adversity of touring with an all-white Artie Shaw orchestra, Holiday's impact grew. Her iconic recording of the protest song Strange Fruit in 1939 marked a pivotal moment in her music, marking one of the earliest instances in which a popular jazz vocalist used music as a powerful medium for social commentary.
By the early 1940s, Billie Holiday faced battles with heroin and other narcotics, leading to a tumultuous personal life. Even with her struggles, though, she continued to produce gems in the 1940s with hits like God Bless the Child and Lover Man. However, her struggles with addiction led to legal troubles, including an arrest in 1947 that resulted in a jail sentence and a loss of her cabaret card. Despite these hardships, Billie Holiday remained resilient for the remainder of the decade. The 1950s, however, brought further personal challenges, including the loss of her close friend Lester Young in 1959. Tragically, a little over two months later, at the age of 44, Holiday passed away while handcuffed to a hospital bed. Billie Holiday's life was a series of triumphs and tribulations marked by an extraordinary ability to turn pain into musical expression. Her contributions to jazz and her courage in addressing social issues through her music have solidified her status as a jazz legend. Okay, it is time now to take a listen to All of Me. If you are listening on Spotify Premium, you will get the full track. If you are listening elsewhere, you will only get a clip.